and welcome back to another let's play shinobi 3 part 2 I really hate this stage hopefully I'll be able to do good on this stage If you're not confident in your double jump ability, then now will be the time to use the super jump ninjutsu. Hmm. Almost jumped to my death there. That works too. Almost messed that up. As I made it. Usually, always miss a jump. Yes, T Hawk with a giant machete. That is your reward for making it all the way to this point. Well, he was difficult to hit that time. I'll make it too easy. This is where Voltron got their inspiration from. It's just when you beat him, you want to celebrate so early that you end up jumping off to your death and have to repeat the fight again. Trust me, it can happen. I really love and hate this stage. Because as a kid, you're impatient. You're like, I want to get to the final boss, but... If you have patience, you'll get through this a lot easier than most. Yeah, the Batman will get on your nerves from time to time, but just deal with it the best way you can. And I just screwed myself over. So now we gotta take the long route. Drop kick everything in sight. And here we go. And that's what happens if you take the wrong path. Now we're back in the same room. Try to ignore them if you can. Now this is the right path. But a little difficult nonetheless. Still getting 
already might need the shield here Jumped into it. Just to be on the safe side, I think I will use this now. I guess I didn't need it. But better safe than sorry. The final confrontation. Are you ready? Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? The final confrontation? Yeah, I know. Not enough hype in my voice. I won't be hype until I beat the game. You never want to celebrate too early. This stage will make you overconfident and then just destroy that confidence right as you get towards the end. I guarantee it. I could have avoided that, but I'm just so overconfident right now. Just imagine if this game had achievements. game without getting hit. Mr. Perfect Part 2. There's already a Mr. Perfect 1 if anybody's played Mega Man 10. Did you believe I actually have that trophy? I don't believe it myself, but I do. Shows how dedicated I am. Yes, block energy balls with a knife. So pro. Like nothing. The ultimate ninja. His knife, sword, boots, everything. It's just so much better than the military's random shield and boomerang tactics. 
I just have to mention that one more time. Like of all the things they thought of. Random brain with wings. No, not so bad. Okay, they are really getting annoying now. But random brain with wings and just kabuki warriors that throw fans at you. Just everything is a mess here. Just anything they can do to possibly thwart the ninja's return. If that was a pitfall, I would have died right there. I'm being extra cautious. I never figured out how to get to those two boxes. And I dropped down to my death. First death. At the beginning. Hooray. At least it's just the beginning of this section. See why it's a good idea to be cautious on this last stage? You saw right there. Yeah, I rather just take the hits. I'm sorry I'm so quiet, but I'm just really focused. Gotta keep your eye on the prize here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this here. And I still died. Nothing like a premature death. At least there's a safe point here. They were nice enough to give you that much. I'm just mad I lose all these shurikens that I saved up. So close to the final boss, can we do it within 30 minutes? Tune in to find out. We'll just keep watching, I guess. Don't go nowhere. Don't take a break. Just keep watching. It's an extra life down there, but I'm not going to bother getting it. I really shouldn't need it at this point. Plus, it's just wasting time.
Plus there's one right there. <laughs> so that backs up for it. Still got hit. And this is why I have the shield. Now, I know this might seem a little crazy, but I'm going to jump off here. A couple of you probably guess why I did that, and you'll see very soon why I did. I just want to make things as easy as possible for me at this point. Are you ready? Caution is right. This last part is just ridiculous. Save yourself the trouble and use this ninjutsu right now. There you go. Last battle. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? Trust me, if you went about that the fair way, you're in for a difficult and long fight. And we'll have plenty of time to watch the credits. I know that was a coward's way of going about the last fight, just jumping to my death so I can get Nijitsu again. But hey, sometimes you gotta lose one life to save many. Sacrifice that one ninja so that the rest can rebuild their village. Because this is the return of the Shinobi. Speaking of Shinobi... I should try to play Nightshade, or better yet, Tenchu, since I never played that game. But, I guess the next playthrough. Hmm. I'm thinking of another Sega Genesis game. Maybe Sonic and Knuckles 3, Restar, Shining Force 2. Who knows? Just. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment, give a thumbs up, thumbs down, just let me know you exist, let me know I'm not just doing this just to waste time, because this time could be used for so many other things, I could be writing poetry right now. I could be working on instrumentals. I could be playing Monster Hunter right now, so just let me know this Let's Play was worth your time. And if it is, I'll keep on making more. If not, then I guess give some advice on how I can improve it to entertain the viewers out there. All ten of you.
That's some victory music for you right there. Uh, the last three stages really get me exhausted now. Luckily, there's no more to this game. It's like these games are short but sweet. Always make you want to come back for more. Just to see if you can improve your score or improve your time upon beating the game. New games nowadays, it's like once you finish them, you never want to play them again. Especially if you're a trophy hunter. They just almost make you want to sell the game as soon as you finish it. But, I guess trophy hunting doesn't really... shouldn't at least coexist with the idea of having fun because trophy hunting is really just trying to show off your skills I guess to pros and veterans whereas players who really just want to have fun aren't worried about trophies are just worried about having fun but even in some games like let's see Dead Rising 2 even without trophy hunting, that game is just really unnecessarily boring because you gotta sit around and waste time to even go to the next part of the story. Like, you're just in a mall with zombies, and you think the zombies will actually give you a run for your money, but no, you could just drop kick zombies out of stores and dress up in serve bot and Blanca outfits and it just ruins the fun and the horror right there. The only thing that saves the game is co-op. Just two upstanding Americans drop kicking bosses off of buildings just to get a cutscene where the boss is still alive even though you drop kicked him earlier. Anyway, I digress. Let's watch this awesome intro, and then I'll be on my way to making another video. A random and mystery video that I haven't decided on yet. Back in the day, that intro amazed me and just made me want to play this game so much. Anyway, Gold Unit 1001, signing out.